Great baseball passion here as the fans just having a rock'em sock'em time. These two teams now know what is up for grabs here. The United States has beaten Canada nine to four. The U.S. will be the number one seed out of Arizona. Italy will be number two. The U.S. will play the loser of this game. The winner of this game will be playing Italy in the opening two games to be played in Miami. So a little more added to what this ball game means. Puerto Rico takes the field. the lineup for the Dominican Republic and it is a good one. Reyes Ibar and Cano. Encarnacion Ramirez Cruz Santana Nanita and the Arza. Well balanced all the way around guys that can help you switch in like Santana with a great eye in the bottom third and Ibar at shortstop here today. They're going to pressure anybody who is catching anybody who is pitching and they are hitting 324 as a club. Orlando Roma, the numbers that he put up playing in Japan with the 26 games and a real good 304 ERA. His manager thinks he's a good matchup against the Dominican because he knows how to pitch. He is experienced. He understands how to balance out and take care of the pitches against power hitters, contact hitters, and even more importantly, I think at this point, controlling the running game with Reyes, Cano, Ibar, and company. He is a 34 year old veteran on the mound. Here's the defense and they have played well with Feliciano Pagan and Rios in the outfield. Avilas Figueroa gets the start at short. Bello will be at second. Maldonado's got first and Jose Molina catcher. Anytime you have a Molina behind the plate you know you got to be on your toes because they will throw behind you. They take good care of their pitchers they understand how to convince pitchers of making pitches in the dirt in crucial times and let me tell you something else if you're a baseball fan and you sit in this ballpark close your eyes listen to the crowd and the music you know you are in the Caribbean you gotta remember that rarely do the best players from each of these countries have a chance to play against one another. While there is the Caribbean World Series, that's different. Those are championship teams from the local countries. We are underway. Reyes leading it off. Reyes is going to be the DH in this game. He's had a four for nine. He's been getting on and he has been running. 1 0 delivery on the way, and that'll be taken down low, and the count will go to 2 0. Reyes has had a smile on his face throughout this World Baseball Classic year. Has really enjoyed playing. And I think maybe as from the games I've seen him play, he may be having as much fun playing in baseball right now as I've ever seen. And consider too in what great shape he is in. Out of the stretch, here's the 2-1 delivery. Reyes will chop it foul, trying to put it down that third baseline, and a two-ball, two-strike count. Roman on the mound. 44 43 over 363 games 10 minor league seasons Mets Baltimore Toronto minor league organizations and the Mexican League. Reyes will go down to first base big easy hopper Maldonado. So in a ball game with this much intensity Jose what do you think. For the Dominican stay on the attack. Yes they have been patient and selective of the play but they've had success scoring runs because they have attacked their pitches and for Puerto Rico Roman's command is going to be key because he has seen two starters in front of him go out there and give Puerto Rico four innings each. They got it from Alvarado and they got it from Nelson Figueroa. Remember 65 is the pitch count limit for any pitcher in this first round. Again to first off Maldonado's glove not down play not in time. A nice scoop made by Roman off the lose throw but not in time and Ibar is on. Full effort first base the ball got 
too. Maldonado a little bit too quick, but look at Falou not giving up on that play. That was actually closer than anybody expected. No decision yet on what the call is, but a runner's on. And Robinson Cano is coming up. They will give Ibar a hit. So Ibar gets the base hit. And here is Robinson Cano. Big World Baseball Classic for him, six for 10. He's had four RBIs of all the Dominican players who had been here before. He probably felt on his shoulders rested a lot to do with why the Dominican had not fared well in previous classics because he had not played well, he said. Well, he has played well here. And he looks like he's in mid-season form the way he's gone at it at the plate. Timing is all there. His legs are under him. He tells me his legs feel very strong at this point, and all it's all because of uh, you know the focus he had in getting ready for this tournament by starting his workouts earlier this winter. He went only three for 13 in the second World Baseball Classic in 09. He is up those numbers in this one. It's to him a fastball. Ronan's going to miss inside with it, and the count will go to 2 and 0 on Cano. 34-year-old in his 26 starts last year, struck out 96 and walked 69 in 165 innings. Decent lead, not real big at first base. Ibar not going under the feet, throw behind. Maldonado scoops it up, but the tag is not in time. And there's what you were talking about. Never give up on the Molinos behind the plate. And Jose will use this scoop, hide right behind that hitter, the lefty, and get very close to his former teammate with the Angels, Eric Ibar. That gets every runner's attention. On that Dominican team watching Molina early make that throw. 3 0 the count. Cano taking all the way. It's in there for a strike. Cano had great numbers last year, especially against the right handers. He led the majors against righties. He had 359, 42 doubles off right handed pitching. And he asked for the timeout. Ibar's had a pretty decent lead. He still hasn't seen the best of every single move out of the pitcher, Roman. But he's got to get going here. 3 1 delivery is ripped into center field for a base hit. Ibar the turn. He'll stay, throw to the cutout man. And Cano's got his seventh hit of the WBC. He is 7 4 11. Is he relaxed? <laughs> I'll take the picture for you. And that kid will say, you know who took that picture for me? It's the way it's been for most of the players here in this World Baseball Classic. They've played hard, but they've had great fun. I mean, both amongst themselves and also with the crowd. By the time we met with manager Tony Pena and with Edwin Rodriguez, reportedly, they wanted their players to enjoy and savor the moment have a good time playing baseball here in the island first and second only one away a chance to get on the board here and Canacion will take it outside batting in the cleanup spot first baseman he's had a one for seven 30 year old veteran that one a home run Tony Pena the skipper Ball club that once they get started, they become a hitting machine. Roman's trying to stop that from happening here in the first inning. 1 0 delivery. That'll be up high for a ball. If you're a starting pitcher coming out looking at this lineup, you get a little more worried if they start getting hits off you in the first inning. He's working behind on the count to these guys, so 
2 0 delivery, and he falls behind 3 0. And it could get a little tougher for Roman if he starts trying to be too fine because what follows is even more powerful. Ramirez, home run hitter, waiting on deck. 3 0 the count. Taking something else you've seen in this tournament, even from this Dominican team, they have not been swinging from their heels. They've taken pitches, they've worked the counts. A little bit surprising that in the World Baseball Classic, a team with this much thunder would be as patient as they've been. It's been control aggressiveness all the way around. Three ball, one strike delivery on the way, and that's going to be a base hit into left field. Big jump by Bar. I bar the turn. Feliciano is the throw. Cut it off. Got a second and not in time. And Canaciano with the RBI single. Dominican Republic leads at one nothing. Well, there are about a half a million Dominicans here in Puerto Rico, and. You're getting to see this immediately. When you said it, Gary, it seems like uh, once they get rolling, it's nonstop. And going back to the exhibition game against the Phillies, where they connected 28 hits before getting here. And Canes Young gets his second RBI of the Classic. Here's Handley Ramirez. Ramirez a chopper towards the middle. Figueroa's got to back up. Did he get him? No. And he doesn't get him either. No outs recorded. And Canesion slid in safe at second, and Ramirez beats the throw at first. And Edwin Rodriguez will start with a first base umpire. But over at second base, Figueroa cannot believe the runner got called safe. That was a very close place on both ends. The tough hop. And you got to really make sure your feet are under you, not to jump too fast and complete this throw. I think he was safe at first on that look. Second was so close, but great hustle. By Ancanacion to get there. And the bases are now loaded. That's going to go as a base hit. That's four consecutive singles. And here is Cruz, who's four for eight with four batted in here in the Classic. Still only one away. Cruz will take it outside for a ball. The one thing to look at second base is the slide. And where's the foot of figure off? Boy, was that close. 1 0 count. Tops that one foul. I really think Encarnacion going in was more concerned about breaking up the double play throw than he was about getting into the bag, but he did it with such hustle he got there in time. He put on a pretty good takeout slide, a late slide that took him right over the bag. Already warm up action for Puerto Rico, Jose De La Torre in the bullpen. 1 1 delivery is foul back on the big cut by Cruz. Well, the one thing that really has been affected Roman is his fastball command. Falling behind on the count, but also seems like he still doesn't have a grip or a good feel for his secondary pitches. Where are those breaking balls? There's the bullpen action. One ball, two strike count on Cruz. Santana waiting on deck. And Cruz will step out. Roman in his third baseball classic appearance. He's been in all three of them. Ooh. Right off the mask. Well, it looks like that mask for Jose Molina has suffered enough damage that he's asking for a new one. I saw something fall off there, I think. Went flying when he got hit. And he's asked for the new mask to be brought out. So through 21 pitches, are we convinced this is a big game? <laughs> very, and a very big inning. 
as the uh, Dominicans got a chance to open this up. Now the question is does he have another mask. The answer to that apparently is yes. Yeah, piece falling off when flying through the air. Hey he can always count on his brothers. Yeah. Well they will take that one back. And the delivery is going to be popped up in the infield. Infield fly rule is in effect. Batters out. Cruz pops out, big out. Figueroa went back to get it. Leaves the bases loaded with two down. Cruz is heading back to that dugout saying, I should have done way more with that pitch, but you can see the swing here. Boy, wants it back, but credit Roman by doing something different with that fastball and running it in just at the last minute. Nice pitch. Carlos Santana, he's doing the catching, switch hitter. He's had one hit in the classic. That was a two run homer. The wind is blowing out to right field. It should favor the left handed hitters in this ball game. And the pitch will be taken outside. For a ball, two down, bases remain loaded. Very typical of this ballpark. And there are no storms around to see those flags waving in that direction. 75 degrees at game time. Pitch is going to be outside. 2 and 0 again. Roman's doing this the hard way, going behind almost every hitter. I do like this pick selection, though. Showing something different. A lot of times it's that different grip, different thinking of your mechanics. It's going to get you back to that fastball command. You know, third base single. Arcanacion RBI single at second. Ramirez over at first. 2 0 delivered. Going for the Atlantic. 2 and 1. Roman has thrown 25 pitches, 14 strikes. But he's had to do it coming from behind these Dominican hitters here in the first inning. Thirty four year old set in the two one. Got the corner. No argument from Santana on that one. That's a command and movement he's been looking for. Two balls, two strikes. Got him. So through all of that, only one run, four hits, no errors. And the Dominican leaves the bases loaded as Roman comes up big. Puerto Rico, the home team. Begun will be leading it off. Let's take a look at the rest of the lineup. That will be Begun, Palu Rios, Beltran, Avila, Maldonado, Molina, Feliciano, and Figueroa. They'll be facing lefty Wandy Rodriguez, who before today's ball game just said he has studied enough of what the Puerto Ricans have done the previous two games. And he wants to worry about one thing is command of that fastball. He starts out with one that's in the strike zone. He will feature also overhand curveball, bit of a slurve action and the changeup. The gun has had a big four for eight with an RBI. He's been a table center. Fastball taken inside. You have a couple of pitchers, distinctly different histories. Wandy Rodriguez on the mound. Has worked in 240 major league games. On the other side, Orlando Roman has worked in none. Both are 34 years old. They've done a lot of pitching in the careers, but at different levels. Here's the 1 1 delivery. That's down the line. Foul ball. I can tell you, I have a new appreciation and respect for that man right there. 
He plays at one speed and he really represents that blue collar attitude here in this island. And how hard he has worked to become a solid major leaguer on Hell Pagan. Left handers going to see a lot of righties in this lineup. One two delivery that'll be foul back. Even before the tournament Gary. Tony Pena said uh, he wanted to save Juan de Rodriguez to face Puerto Rico for the, that exact reason to turn the switch hitters around. One ball two strike pitch we got takes it. Slider that's going to miss inside, and the count will go to two and two. Puerto Rico comes into the ball game. They hit 254 in the first two games, not real high. Outscored opponents nine to three, doing that against Spain and Venezuela. Good pitching though. ERA of one five for Puerto Rico. That'll be foul back. So Puerto Rico, even though they've got the good lineup in the first two games, their secret's been pitching. The Dominican, their secret to go 2 0 has been offense. Right, the 324 average collectively in Puerto Rico, as he mentioned, three runs allowed in 18 innings coming into this game. Pagan with the two ball, two strike count. And he'll hit that one off the fist to shallow center. Bermuda Triangle, tough play. Nice play made. Cano going back, hauls it in with his back to the plate. Oh, we always say he makes it look easy, but also he made it easy on his center fielder Diaz, who did not get to see this ball very well coming off the bat. Look at his range and communication. One away. Here's the second baseman, Irving Falu, coming up, 29-year-old. He's had a one for eight. In the classic. And the fastball will be in the outside corner to it. Ballou, line drive hitter, not a lot of power. Outfield's in half dozen steps all the way around on him. Trying to cut off that line drive base hit. And it'll be taken inside. Don't be surprised if tonight you'll see Howley Ramirez tested with the bunt by some of these hitters. He is even with a bag at third. One ball, one strike delivery. We've seen in the classic, at least here in this pool, a lot of defensive adjustments to hitters that you wouldn't expect because there aren't a lot of scouting reports on a lot of the players. Now, these two teams have players you got reports on, but the defenses have really moved around. They've not stayed steady. So there's information out there being used. A chopper. Cut off, got a hustle. Ramirez, Joe, not in time. Hello gets the infield hit. It's a great hustle all the way around. Tough play for Ramirez who has to go way to his left. Just throw sails on him a little bit, and it might have cost him. But as he has to spin a full effort, an outstanding job there by Falou finishing through the bag. So Rios, base hit, Falou, Rios one for five. Speed at first base, bounce, nice stop made. Santana had come up with that one on the short hop. Let me tell you who's keeping a close eye on Carlos Santana behind the plate is his bench coach, Sandy Alomar Jr., one of the best to ever come out of this island. And a great teacher with the Indians. We've had four stolen bases put up by Puerto Rico in. This classic, they have four out of five. They've done as much running as anybody. Blue is not one of those who's had a stolen base, but he's got the speed. And you can run on Rodriguez. Wanda Rodriguez on the mound is not going to get all too tricky with you. He will want to keep you honest, but because he has a limited slide step, 
He's not going to be able to hold you out there very long. If you get a good move. Good lead at first. Runner not going. Ground ball touch short. Hit hard enough. Five by Cano. Quick relay. Not in time. Nobody better at making that relay throw from second to first on the turn than Cano, and even he couldn't get him. Quick release by Abra, giving him plenty of time, but uh, again, a standing effort by the runner. Rios getting down the line. And a good slide by Falou. Two down. Is Beltran. He's the cleanup batter and the designated hitter in the ball game. Three for seven with an RBI. Rios. Oh, won the count. Inside almost caught him on the back leg that time from Rodriguez. He brought up a very important point here is the defense throughout this whole tournament, how guys and pieces have been moved around. Holly Ramirez, after the swings he's seen and after the pitches Rodriguez has thrown, should be back a little deeper. That's going to miss. Rodriguez thought he had one right there, didn't get the call. Two and one. This carpet's got some zip on it, the ball. Shoots as it does off most carpets, and it has off this one here in the classic. And keep in mind, it was a warm afternoon here, very bouncy. Two ball, one strike count. That's going to be outside, three and one. I talk about all these righties in the lineup against the left hander Rodriguez. Interesting that last year, in 205 innings, the exact same average against him by lefties and righties, 255. You don't see that very often. That'll be fouled back. Now the home run differential was 18 to 3 in favor of the right-handers, but they get four or five times more at bats against Rodriguez than do the lefties. So he's done pretty well. Yeah, if you go on proportion, it's not really that much of an offset. Three right balls, two strikes. Right, he's got a better look at some of those slurs that are hung. Runner will be going. Rios at first base with two away. Three two fouled off. Players are legitimate spectators for both teams in this game. Great respect by the players on both sides for the players on the other. So they're really watching. From the they, first pitch to the last pitch. Yeah. You'd love to be down there listening to the comments back and forth. Uh, Will be made about players on the other team as they come up. Again, the 3 2 delivery on the way. Ball put up in the air, left center field. It's playable. The Oz is over, and he's got it. No runs, one hit, no errors, and one left on base. We've completed one in this classic matchup. Two countries, great baseball history, and great teams here. These two teams with such great talent and enjoying every minute of the World Baseball Classic. They have been waiting for this game, the opportunity to play one another because both are 2 0, both are going to Miami. There'll be close to 20,000 fans on hand here. I mean, they put them in with a shoehorn and a shot of rum in this one. There's hardly a seat available, and they came very early. And have just had a great afternoon of it, and uh, you'll hear them throughout the course of this game. We go to the second inning. Nanita De Arza in the top of the order. Reyes do up here against Roman. Okay, we really have to compliment the island of Puerto Rico and the whole country and how great of a host once again they have been for this World Baseball Classic. You have to love coming here if you love baseball and love this kind of an atmosphere and how can you not just consider some of the support they gave respectfully for Team Spain. Yep. They love the game. One one delivery on the way foul away. Nanita's had a one for seven with an RBI. By the way if you are so old fashioned as to keep score at home. 
They've made a scoring change in that first inning on Henley Ramirez. Take away the base hit, put in a fielder's choice. Yeah, that was a little too generous there. Yeah. An out should have been recorded on that play. Yep. One two delivery on the way and a ground ball to short again. Figueroa circles. One away. And yes, for every Ramirez and Cano and Ibar and Reyes, there is a Luis Figueroa that is well known here in Puerto Rico by his efforts through the years in winter ball. And a guy playing shortstop right now that is very much appreciated by his teammates and especially by his manager. They are so coming up the center fielder. I really enjoy watching him play. He's a real player, boy. He's an outstanding defensive man. He's gone three for eight, two RBIs. Ooh, punting. Got him uh, up high on the shoulder, and he had nowhere to go on that one. That ball just chased him. Going tenth on that one. That one got away from Ramon. And if you're crowding the plate and you're expecting that ball to move away, that will happen. Well, I'm not real happy. He didn't want him over there. Top of the order in Reyes. Reyes is grounded out, runner on, one down. In at third base, Avilas. Pretty good lead for Diaz. A throw over and a good one. Right in the dirt, into the glove, into the player, which made that play relatively close. Diaz said, one's enough. <laughs> he had to be talking to Alex Rios, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Rios plunked three times in this classic. Rama on the long look. And that's a pie for a ball. A lot of people looking forward to seeing what Reyes will do this season with the Toronto Blue Jays. The big change for Reyes. That ball towards center field. Called in by Pagan, two down. Yeah, it seems like Vermont has found at least a more consistent release point. And I was so impressed with that pitch he threw Carlos Santana to freeze him to finish out with that first inning. The fastball is so much movement. Came back over the plate. And then from there on, you see the confidence building. That will bring up Eric Ibar, single scored, getting his first hit here in the classic in that first inning. Runner at first, going to run, might do it here. The Arza not going, and the pitch is a strike. Watch this right here. Look at this fastball. That's at least a foot. And Santana could do nothing about it. Switch hitter with an 0 1 count. Long hold. High bar for the middle. He's got a base hit. The as of the turn will stay. The gone up with it gets it in. So High bar starting out for a hot night. He's two for two. First and second, two down. You know, Gary, we talk about rivalries on the professional level. I grew up in the Dominican Republic. In Little League, there's rivalries between Puerto Rico and the Dominican. And if there's 10 people watching a Little League game on a Saturday on a regular day, have Puerto Rico show up and there'll be 200 watching you, and it was just nerve wracking. I could relate to that when I was nine years old. Rich baseball traditions. Cano gets another chance. He singled his first time up. Two on, two down. Good speed on the base pass, and Deaza. High by first base. Maldonado going to go to the back. Gets the out. No runs, one hit, no errors. Two are left on base. Dominican Republic has already stranded five in the first two innings. One nothing lead for the Dominican. If you're going to be in Puerto Rico and you're going to talk about tradition, history, 
in baseball. El Astro, Roberto Clemente and those beautiful Pittsburgh Pirates colors well represented there with the Puerto Rican flag. The great Clemente recognized here all over the island. Love that. Mike Avilas. Avilas a one for five but he's had four RBIs. I went back and checked that twice looking into the game. I said really four RBIs. Yep sure enough. Sack flies ground balls base hit. He's found a way to get him in. Avilas will hit a line drive that stays up in the air and it'll fall in base hit. These outfielders did not seem to be getting a very good read on balls in the air. I agree with you. That's the second time we saw it happen on the pop up that Cano had to go out and catch early in the game. And then you see Nanita getting a late jump. One of the things you got to be a little fearful of in the outfield is not getting too close to that ball. Because if you make an attempt and it hits, it'll go over your head or scoot by, and once it rolls, it'll go all the way to the wall. And uh, Anita played it safely. And Gary, that's how Michael Viles has been getting it done. Leadoff man on. Here's Maldonado, hit number four for the, or hit number two rather for Puerto Rico. Leadoff single here in the second inning. Maldonado. He only had two at bats here in the classic 0 for 2. Looked like he was answering his third base coach there on the sign that came in. We'll see whether or not Avilas might be moving. I really doubt it here 0 and 1. Yeah. At least I wouldn't do it. Runner will stay and the pitch will be taken inside. You can see Wandy Rodriguez still trying to establish a consistent path with that breaking ball. Which he needs to be effective. One ball, one strike count. One nothing lead, RBI, and Canacion in the first inning for the Dominican Republic. Pitch will be outside, two and one. Rodriguez had thrown 21 pitches coming into the inning, 14 strikes. Tony Pena, the great catcher, managing. Good time to pick over and see if there's any intent or flinching out there. 2 1 delivery. Took the big rip. Puerto Rico is trying to continue a record here at home in the first round of the three World Baseball Classics. They're undefeated. They're 8 and 0. Oh. 06 they won 03, 09 they won all three, and they've won the first two this year in the first round of games played here in their home field. Chance to stay that way if they can beat the Dominican. Two ball, two strike count on Maldonado. Another big cut. Softened that one up a little bit, and Rodriguez gets the strikeout. You got to credit Carlos Santana behind the plate, calling for the pitch, following the pitch, and making Rodriguez repeat it until he finds it. You can afford that luxury here early in the game. First strikeout recorded by Rodriguez. Jose Molina. Molina's not had an at bat. 34 year old catcher will take the pitch for a strike. Not the guy with the most potent bat, but yes, he is a guy that has been utilized by his managers throughout his big league career because he has good bat control to get runners in motion. Oh, on the count. Oh, and two. Molina last year hitting 223 Tampa Bay, eight home runs, 32 RBIs. The catching Molinas, of course, featuring brothers Benji and Yadier. 0 2 delivery and another cut, and Rodriguez has his second strikeout. 
I'm convinced Jose Molina went looking breaking ball here a couple of times and just didn't have a good breaking ball swing. Or had the good breaking ball swing, but laid on the fastball a couple times. That'll bring up Jesus Feliciano. 15 professional seasons. Last year at Durham, Triple A hit 270, a homer, 46 RBIs. Oh, they love him here. They call him Motorita. He'll take it outside for a ball. Played both in the Mexican and Puerto Rican Winter League and hit 281 a lifetime. 1 0 count. Luciano will take the pitch down low and he gets ahead on the count 2 and 0. Leans out. 3 and 0, refusing to chase. Tough out. He's got a very good eye, and he's shown that here through three pitches. They want to continue to pressure Rodriguez as much as they can here early in the game. Figueroa's uh, Feliciano, rather, only uh, won a bat 0 for 1 in the classic and uh, strike in the inside corner. Again, we'll remind you throughout the ball game what's at stake here in addition to just a great matchup. The winner is the number one seed coming out of here. The winner of this game will play Italy in Miami. The loser of this game will be the number two seed and will play the U.S. The U.S. is the number one seed coming out of Arizona. Got into that one to right field. And that'll be hauled in by Cruz. No runs, one hit. No errors and one left on base. Two complete here in our final game of the World Baseball Classic in San Juan. One of the hardest working and uh, busiest members. <laughs> Only outranked work wise by Eric Cooper and company. Ed Hickox, Paul Heinem, yeah, Fernandez, the umpiring crew in this game. Oh boy, they have worked. Had some long games here in this classic. The umpires out there, of course, for the whole thing. 0 oh, 1 count as uh, Encarnacion comes up. He had an RBI single first inning. So he's now driven in a couple. Numbers from the Jays' year and good ones. Orlando Roman, no walks, a strikeout. 1 4 and 1, the Dominican 0 2 and 0 Puerto Rico. And there's a Towering fly ball to center. The gun is there, one down. Gary, you're not kidding about hard work and umpires. Uh, we were able to had a temperature set on the turf for today's game in the afternoon. What was it, 124 degrees on that turf? Yes. And they have done a fine job all the way around. Real good work with the men in blue who represent Major League Baseball umpires and umpires from other countries as well and other leagues. Here's Ramirez. Fielder's choice, his first time up. And even for the umpires of those other countries, this is a tournament of tremendous value and experience. Hanley Ramirez with power down to third and foul. Gary, we continue to see pitchers working out of the stretch more often than they do work out of the windup throughout this whole pool. This is a starting pitcher. One ball, one strike count. Lifted. Adam Ball. Rios to down. I'll tell you, Don Mattingly ought to be very happy when he sees the type of approach that Howley Ramirez has had throughout this whole tournament. He has been very consistent staying on the ball and using every part of the field. 
Two down, nobody on. Nelson Cruz coming up. He popped out to short his first time to the plate. He's had two good World Baseball Classics. Cruz hit 273. In 2009, the World Baseball Classic. Fouls it back, 101. From him, he just looks out. Tip the cap on that one, one and two. The lines one, two delivery, and that'll be a base hit to center field. So Cruz gets his fifth hit, five for ten. It'll be a two-out single. Yeah, Nelson Cruz probably thinking, "Thank you very much for that fastball." Again, it's not where Roman wanted it. You can see his disgust in his face. But after missing the breaking ball, he probably wanted to elevate and change Cruz's eye level. Keeps the inning alive for Carlos Santana, strikeout victim his first time up. With the Indians, his numbers. Outside for a ball. He's got a home run and a couple of RBIs here in the Classic. 18 home runs for the Indians last year. Has hit as many as 27. Did that in 2011. One zero. -oh. Good pitch. That's the homer he got the other night. He clocked it, pulled it. Way up in the air and deep. Got a lot of backspin on that one. Put it up on that jet stream. Wind blowing that way tonight, as we said, still is. Pitched away from it. And a two ball, one strike count. Come on, working with Cruz. Being held. By Maldonado is in front of him and off the bag. A lot of foul territory here. Avila's coming over, and uh, that's a pitcher's best friend. In most ballparks, that would have been in the seats, but not here at Hiram B. Thorne Stadium. No runs, one hit, no errors, one left on base. You're in the infield on the corners and corner outfielders. You chase them down because you can make plays like that. Gary Thorne with you along with Jose Mota and a sellout crowd on hand here at Hiram B. Thorne Stadium in San Juan. Dominican leading at 1 nothing over Puerto Rico in the final game of this pool play. Both these teams are 2 and 0. Oh. Dominican though with a lead but they've left six on base already in the ball game. Bottom of the third inning. Puerto Rico with a couple of hits so far. That's what we're talking about. Venezuela, Spain played earlier. Venezuela finally got a win beating Spain. These two teams are playing for seeding one and two here coming out of San Juan. Luis Figueroa with a one for two and a couple of RBIs. And big RBIs. Two ball, one strike count. Rodriguez gets the ground ball to short. Hi, Bart. One down. Take a look at how they made it. Dominican Republic defeated Venezuela 9-3 and 6-3 over Spain. Puerto Rico got the 3-0 win in the opener against Spain and then defeated Venezuela by a score of 6-3 for their 2-0 marks. Crushing blow to Venezuela, boy, and they started hearing back from their fans at home. After that one, very quickly to the point where players 
have to come and defend manager Luis Soho. Very disappointing series for Venezuela. That powerful offense of theirs never got going. The gun popped out his first time up. Robinson Cano made a great catch back to the plate going to center field on him. One down here in the third inning. Yeah, Venezuela pounded Spain today, and that collective average, Gary, went from 200 before the game. They finished at 279. Too little, too late for them. They, I mean, at least they got the win. Unhappy with the call. You see Pagan arguing there with Eric Cooper. Pagan has a point. Left handers 1 1 delivery to him. Breaking ball. On speed pitch. And it will go to 2 and 1. 65 pitches. That's the limit for any pitcher here in the first round. It'll go up to 80 in the second round of the tournament and then 95 in the championship round in San Francisco. And lots of pictures and videos taken. 2 1 delivery. That's going to be inside. 3 1. So 3 1. He's going to hit. He's not going to bunt. Third baseman should be playing in the back line of the infield. Give yourself some room right now. 46 pitch coming from Rodriguez. Foul back. Went after it and a three ball, two strike count. The guy's still having a conversation at the plate. You see Cooper looking at him. <laughs> Cooper's keeping his cool. You can see the blue of the eyes on that one. Three ball, two strike delivery. Now that one back. Now to reach for it, protect it. And it'll stay at three and two. This is a type of blue collar at bat that Angel Pagan has given Puerto Rico pretty much every time up throughout this tournament. And Bruce Bolch and the Giants know all about it. Coaching staff with Tony Pena there. Go on Samuel closest to us. 3-2 delivery on the way and that's a pie and he wants it. No Pagan is on. We remind you you can go to worldbaseballclassic.com bookmark it as your one stop shop for news video highlights online shopping for authentic jerseys caps collectibles and more shop 24 7 and gear up as you support your team by wearing the official colors of your country that's world baseball classic accessible on your computer tablet or smartphone one down one on Rodriguez with the first walk of the ball game. Surrendered right there. Flew had a single his first time up, takes it for a strike. The only thing you can compare the to me, the crowds to here in these baseball games in Puerto Rico is the Olympics. It never stops. And most venues and Olympic events, except for figure skating, have nonstop noise. Cowbells, horns, we've got all of that going on here. Fans cheering, singing, dancing. It's a big old fiesta here in the Caribbean. They've got those, we used to call them thunder sticks. I don't know what they call them here. They got the conga line going in the aisle. It's too bad they don't have any fun. Nah. <laughs> Blue waiting, 0 2 the count one down. He'll reach and foul it back. Rodriguez is making it tough on these hitters and he's able to get ahead he really fine tunes it and makes it close enough that you can't afford to take it even if it misses by a little here the key to that has been the fact that he's been moving the ball enough in and out that even if he's missed over the plate it's been fouled off but he has not thrown that many pitches down the heart of the plate either. Lob toss over to first base. One of the best 
base stealers in this tournament. Numbers wise coming into it anyways is Pagan stole 29 bases last year for the Giants. No two delivery. And pretty good pitch down and in what he misses with and a one ball two strike count. In fact Pagan running at first base a career 80 percent success rate in attempted bases stolen. There he is on the right. Not going here. Ground ball towards short. Got a chance for two. There's one relay to first. Oh my. I don't know if there's ever been anybody better at second base on making that pivot and making the throw than Robinson Cano. I mean, this wise, this is not easy. He's got his back to first. Never know it. Absolutely unaffected by a real good slide. Beautiful play finishing the inning once again by Robbie Cano. Look at that as Gary mentioned the back turn at first but he doesn't worry about those steps bearing down on him. He wants to make sure he starts with the baseball then it's all about trusting that arm. He's fun to watch. We go to the fourth inning one run five hits for the Dominican no runs two hits for Puerto Rico. RBI single first inning and Canacion got it. Pitch on the outside corner for a strike. Gary, give a lot of credit to Orlando Roman. I mean, this could have been uglier right from the beginning, and he has been able to hold off a powerful offense. Nanita grounded out his first time up, and he chops this one to second base. The lose up. Have trouble getting it out of the glove, but gets the up. Trying to see if Alou. You know, having trouble getting it out of the glove, and then he looked down at the turf as his, like his footing was a little thrown off. But he got the out. That's what matters. Come on, going over the 50 pitch count on his way to the 65, but it looks like he'll make. With that pitch count, most of the starters, four innings is what they've gone. Five has been the exception. The eyes are coming up. He was hit by a pitch stranded in the second inning. And a 1 0 count on him. Game this. being played tight to the vest. The nice and easy swing that the Azza has is amazing how the ball does travel and carry off of his bat, especially to the gaps. He'll foul that one back. It surprised a lot of people last year with the White Sox and how durable he was. and. How he's able to pretty much hold up throughout the year. One ball, one strike delivered. Gaza takes it away and it goes to two and one. Dominican came in having picked up 14 walks in the first two games. Talked about their patience. Lamont has not walked anybody here. He's out of swing of the bat. And that will be away. Three ball, one strike count. He's talking to himself out there. He didn't want to get behind. Reyes waiting on deck. 3 1 delivery. And walked him. No sooner said than done. The Diaz is on with the first three pass from Roman. That'll bring up Reyes. Lead off batter 0 for 2. He has grounded out fly out. Reyes, the designated hitter in the ballgame. And the classic now, 4 for 11. Keep your eyes on Jose Molina. He will take charge of controlling this running game behind the plate. Lays that one in for a strike to Reyes. Top of the order with Ibar on deck. One down. 
Infield will play for two. If you're going to do that against Reyes, you really got to hustle it. He's going to have to hit the ball hard to double him up. Oh, one delivery outside with a fastball, 101. And even with the wind, the way it's blowing across the field from left to right, you can see the outfielder, especially Pagata in center. And Rios in right, daring Reyes to hit her over their heads. They are doing that. 60 pitches now have been thrown by Roman. One ball, one strike, long hold. Ooh. Nice pitch right there as he took a lot off it and got him out in front of it. Watch your hitter spin. Watch this. Not able to catch up with that one. Outstanding velocity or lack thereof. Yeah. One ball, two strike count. Reyes has been getting the bat on the ball. One strikeout in the three games. Roman one two runner not going. Another off speed delivery is going to miss outside two and two. Both bullpens have been active. Jose De La Torre up for Puerto Rico. Roman reaching the end of the line, closing in on 65 down the line and foul. Oh, we haven't seen two consecutive off speeds yet from. Roman, he just threw a great changeup, went back to the fastball. We saw him really make Cruz look bad on a breaking ball back in the third inning, and then came back with a fastball and missed his spot. There you see the numbers. A couple more. He can finish in that bat and go over that 65 count. Two ball, two strike delivery, got him. And Reyes know it. <laughs> it seems like Reyes took a look at Ramon and said, you know what? I'm not going to tip my hat, but you got me. Got him guessing. Another great fastball that ran away. So that will do it because of the pitch count. But for Orlando Roman, that's a pretty impressive performance right there. Now he could go one more hitter, but they're going to get him out of here. Roman has done his part, even though he gave up a run. Responsible for the base runner. So Roman out of there, but what a job he did as the starter for Puerto Rico. Normally would stay in, but the rules prevent that. Can't throw more than 65 per game in the first round. You can do it if you're just getting a hitter out of there, and you see the rest that's required if you go beyond that. That rule changes, as we said, when we get to the second round. Yeah, those 65 will go up to 80 pitches in the second round. From uh, one pitcher who has never pitched a major league game to another who has never pitched a major league game. Jose De La Torre coming out. Right hander. 27 years old from San Juan. Not drafted out of high school here. Played junior college in the U.S. In the Mets organization. Red Sox organization. Now here he is. Working with two down and a runner on at first base. And here's Eric Ibar at the plate. Ibar already two for two and a run scored, two singles. Oh, Torre has a quick whipping action on his arm, which allowed him to average a strikeout per inning in the minor leagues and also a very low ratio of hits allowed per nine innings. And the key has been really experienced in talking to the Puerto Rican staff and finding a good put away pitch with those breaking balls down in the zone. One strike count. Jazz off first base, fouled off the end of the bat. That one was a squibber down to third, but had the spin in the foul territory. Ibar was reading so much into 
De La Torre's body because he has his whipping action. You can see where that ball hit the end of the bat because Ivar was so committed, reading more of the body than looking at the arm. And he'll step off. He worked at three organizations last year. Akron double A Columbus triple A and Pawtucket triple A after the move to the Red Sox. Nine and two overall with the two eight oh ERA in those three locations runner goes. Here's the throw and gets away into center field. The guy will run it in. Stolen base. He has ends up over a third. Error will be charged as well, allowing him to move up. That pressure had to come at some point. The Aza, pretty decent job, not great. And um, Figueroa trying to apply the tag way too fast does not stop this throw. And this error should not be for Jose Molina. Should be on the shortstop for not handling it, allowing the runner to move up. Now a runner at third base, one ball, two strike count. Ivar here in the classic, looking for his first RBI. They'll have to wait. One to the count. Long foul ball. Over into the bullpen. You've got all of that one. That ball dropped exactly where Philatore wanted it. Just slow enough. And the part of the play he wanted to make sure Ivar was ahead of this one, but um, he knows there needs to be a quick correction here. 1 0 lead for the Dominican threatening to add to it here after the walk with one away and then the stolen base and an error. Here's the 1 2 pitch. Taken down low. Molina makes the stop on it. Gary, I like the correction. More downward action, not down and in. Under the responsibility of the starter, Roman. Two and two. And he swings and misses. High bar strikes out, stranding the runner at third base. Seven runners have been left on by the Dominican through the first four innings. They still lead at one nothing. Bring your own band. <laughs> and uh, here's Alex Rios. He just cannot beat this. Oh man. Look at this. Why nothing lead for the Dominican that ball to left field and a line drive is going to fall in for a base hit Rios makes the turn and will stay. Puerto Rico gets the lead off man on fourth inning. By the reaction you think they just scored three runs. But that's how much they love and celebrate their heroes and Gary you brought up a very important point. These crowds don't get to see all these superstars play very often. Never against one another. Three hits on the board for Puerto Rico. Beltran flying to center his first time up. Beltran now the DH. Three for eight. Here in the classic. Second time, leadoff man has been on for Puerto Rico. That is a strike to him, one and one. Juan 
Yandy Rodriguez a walk and two strikeouts. Working up in all likelihood in his final inning. Started with 52 pitches in the inning. Foul back. Well, that is a One typical, two. typical Gary Carlos Beltran swing from the right side after he had been a little bit choppy with a swing when he flew out to the center fielder in his first at bat. Leading with that bottom hand. Look at that. Right on that. No choppiness whatsoever. This is down low, two balls, two strikes. Carlos Beltran played in the uh, 09 WBC, had a home run, three RBIs, hit 421 in that classic. Two ball, two strike delivery to him. That's going to be inside. Good stop, made. He was here in 06, came through big time, also for Puerto Rico. Rio's a good base runner with a 3 2 count here. Avila's waiting on deck. Lots of talk going on here. It was all being directed by Tony Pena back in that dugout. A game. <laughs> you get a feel as to the pressure these <laughs> players feel when they play winter ball. This oh. is a, an example right here. Yeah. It's very demanding to play at home. Rodriguez up to 60 pitches thrown. 3 2 delivery. Runner goes. Ground ball to short. Got to go to first with it. Ivar gets it over there. So with the runner going, Rios gets down to second base, one away. Yeah, I know I've been telling you about how demanding it is, even for the managers, and some teams will go through three or four managers in one season. You're talking 60 games. And that will be it for Wandy Rodriguez. So both of these starters, an outstanding job. Rodriguez so far, no runs on three hits with a walk and a couple of strikeouts. He is responsible for Rios down at second base. Pena coming out and makes the call to the bullpen. Rodriguez gets his job done. Now we'll see if the pen can hang on to a tenuous one nothing lead.
Lorenzo Barcelo a late add to the roster. You see the numbers for Barcelo pitching in the Mexican League last year. Also was with Albuquerque the Dodgers team but did not appear for the Triple A Dodgers before he came into the game he got a little encouragement from Pedro Strope. He's tops him here at the gate and you'll see Strope say hey get in there take care of that mound and then down watches here he goes abajo abajo bajito. So Marcelo on with a little help from his friends Rios at second base one down Avilas. With a single in the ball game, strokes it down the line, left field. It is deep and goodbye, home run. Avilas to the one, Puerto Rico. Does the importance of listening to Pedro Strope? He could not have emphasized more. Down, down. And a swing and a miss by Maldonado. Strike out victim his first time up. And Mike Aviles once again comes through with a big base hit. Great catch by the fan leading over the wall. 0 2 delivery. That ball put in the air to left center field. That's in the yard. Lead over. We'll put it away. Maldonado is retired. Well, that almost seemed scripted, didn't it? That is the first home run for Puerto Rico in the classic. Avilas has had an amazing ability to make his hits count. He's got six RBIs with two hits. Well, actually, another hit here. Three hits now with a single and a homer in the game. But everything he's done at the plate has helped to manufacture runs. Here's Molina, strikeout victim. Third base. Ramirez. That'll do it, but. Two runs, two hits. Joel Torre and his squad getting it done against Canada today. Nine to four win by the U.S. in a tight ball game till the late innings. At one point, I thought we were going to see Larry Boa start running the bases and how animated he was in that bench. Well, the U.S. moves on. It wasn't easy. And that game tomorrow between the Netherlands and Cuba should be a dandy because the Netherlands has already beaten Cuba once six to two and there were some unkind words from the Cuban manager Mesa. That ball put up in the air by Robinson Cano left center field deep back warning track and goodbye home run Cano two two. Some of you are probably wondering which one's a home team here.
Two for three in the ball game. His first home run of the classic. That is a thing of beauty, Robinson Cano. De La Torre, who came on in relief to get a strikeout in the fourth and then gives up the homer here. And we are tied at 2 2. Tano now with the two hits in this ball game is eight for 13 with a home run and five RBIs. Strike on the outside corner and Canacion. Well, Gary, it seems like Cano has started his salary drive here. Pretty good negotiating effort, I'll tell you that. Bounced. Another home run hitter at the plate, RBI base hit. Aaron Canacion came in the first inning. And of course, he's got power. And now fans on both sides are trying to settle back in. Two runs, six hits for the Dominican, two run, four hits for Puerto Rico. Two, two delivered. Three and two inside. It's going to come down to these bullpens, and they have been valuable, especially the guys that have followed the starters. 3 2 base hit right up the middle. De La Torre getting another pitch up. Two for three on Canacion. Seems like the bats are sounding a little louder here tonight. <laughs> Waving goodbye to the baseball and then the little Fernando Rodney shooting the stars. Asking Encarno seen a little uh, recognition down from that. Dugout. Thank you, Bonus, the pitching coach. One thing I know we've talked about is if you don't know any better, you would think this is a lot of showboating. You know what? These cultures and this type of baseball, they all do it and they're all used to it. Reyes. And Canacion on with a base hit. Andres Santiago warming up the bullpen for Puerto Rico. De La Torre will work here to Henry Ramirez, another dangerous hitter. 0 for 2. Fielder's choice on his flying out. Down low to him for a ball. Seven hits on the board now for the Dominican. Runner off first, 1 0 pitch, grounded foul. Just the kind of ball game we had expected so far. Tight, close, big offense. Seeing the stars produce for both Puerto Rico and the Dominican. And a premium being placed on every pitch that has been delivered. One ball, one strike. And we'll miss inside to him, two and one. This is about as selective and patient I have seen Holly Ramirez in a long time. We're talking about the month of March here, but he looks comfortable in how he's tracking the baseball and staying behind it. 29 year old, three time All Star. As a 2 1 count. Round ball toward short in the hole. Figueroa is going to go. One relay first, not in time. Good play, though, to get the out at second base on Encarnacion. We 
We've seen a lot of this too. A lot of action on the base pass. It's a good job by Figueroa securing the ball by staying low to that field turf. And at least getting that one out. Lead runner taken out one away. Cruz a single and he has popped out. Now Ramirez the base runner at first. Cruz had a career high in doubles with the Rangers with 45 and in RBIs with 90. It will be even more important to an offense not what it was at least on paper after movement this offseason fouled away one on one. Now you're talking about Josh Hamilton who has joined the Angels away from the Texas lineup. And Mike Napoli, who has joined the Boston Red Sox. And the main thing for Cruz will be to stay healthy. His numbers should be there if he gets his at bats. Cano, the leadoff homer to tie it up here in the fifth inning. Now with one away, Cruz, 1 1 count, steps out. Both these teams tomorrow. Will be taking off for Miami. Tuesday, they will open up playing in the doubleheader there, U.S. and Italy, Puerto Rico and the Dominican. 1 1 delivery on side, 2 and 1. Pretty good lead at first base. Runner not going, swung through and missed. Two and two. Well, Toro has shown that breaking ball a couple of times. When he's able to really finish the pitch off out in front of him, it is lethal. He did it to Eric Ibar a couple of times, and now he does it here to Cruz. But there's been some inconsistency in where he's been releasing that pitch at times. And uh, fouled off to hold the count of two balls and two strikes. We talked about how seldom these teams, these countries have their best players going up against one another. This ball game tonight, second all time meeting in World Baseball Classic play between the countries. The Dominican Republic was beaten in 06, 7 to 1 by Puerto Rico in the matchup they had there. Battle underway here. Two ball, two strike count. Cruz takes it. Three and two. Many of the Dominican players are quite happy that they don't have to answer much anymore to the two losses to the Netherlands that happened here in 09. Big upsets. Three balls, two strikes, only one away. Runner goes. Swung and a miss. Try to get a strike him out, throw him out. And they do. Molina right on the money. Ball game tied up. The home runs have mattered. Here's Molina. Great quick release and a strike him out, throw him out, double play. Second baseman Falou putting the tag on. 2 2. Well, these fans getting a great ball game to watch and cheer about for both sides. 2 2. Bottom half of the fifth inning. 
There's Jesus Feliciano. Feliciano flied out to right field. It'll be 8 9 1 in the order. This is a good opportunity for manager Adrian Rodriguez, guys who can make some things happen. In the air to left field. Manita's right there and he's got it. Feliciano retired on a couple of pitches. Defensive change has been made here. Miguel Tejada has come into the ball game to play at third base for Ramirez. And we're not sure why, whether that's just a straight up change. I doubt it. Ramirez was involved on the play at second base and the strike him out, throw him out, double play. And whether he may have tweaked something on that, I don't know. Hoping uh, that is not the case, obviously, for long term reasons. Or is, it Tony, or is it Tony Pena saying, hey, I had a plan on who I was going to play and for how long tonight, and I'm going to stick with it, especially since we have already clinched a spot to the second round? So it may be just a straight up change. Here's the 0 1 delivery, swung at it not very well. Figueroa grounded out his first time up. This is Ramirez on that play that ended the last half inning. So nothing unusual. Nope. Jammed in, popped it up third base. Tejada. A couple of quick outs. By Barcelo here in the fifth inning. And that's one thing we've seen also, Gary, is uh, true to their words, both managers have said and told us in early meetings, we are going to use our full roster. And we're not going to jeopardize anybody in getting these guys ready for their major league ball clubs. And they have done that. Two down, nobody on. Two two game. Top of the order. The gone with a walk, and he has popped out. And we'll take the pitch down low for a ball. And I guarantee you, Pagano is very happy to have Barcelo out of the game and switch around now to this side. To have Rodriguez, pardon me, and Barcelo in. Last ball, their first strike. Pagano again shaking his head. He said his problems with the calls on, he's had a lot of discussions with Eric Cooper, the home plate umpire. That last that bat in particular, where he ultimately ended up with a walk. And he said Cooper showed him the blues. He did. <laughs> Stared right at him through the mask. <laughs> Here's the one-one delivery. That's outside. Two ball, one strike count. <laughs> that was on cue, wasn't it? It was. Here's the 2 1 delivery. Foul back. Love that swing. That's a let it fly and let it rip. Forget about getting on base. Let it go. Watch this. Gritting his teeth. That's inside. So the count is full. Three balls and two strikes. Two down bases empty. Pagan is up. Another full count. Here's the 3 2 delivery. And again, foul back. I think the coaching staff is having a little fun with Angel Pagan right I now. I do too. <laughs> you saw Carlos Delgado, big smile. Edwin Rodriguez, Carlos Baerga. They call him Caballo Loco. Up at the plate. Crazy horse. Baerga talking there. He lives only about uh, 20 minutes away. And another ball, foul back. So the battle again engaged as Pagan has done here in this classic, fighting off a lot of pitches. And Tony Pena knows how valuable every single pitch is. 
Wandy Rodriguez, the starter, went three and a third innings. A run on three hits. Marcelo in. Surrendered the homer to Avilas. 3 2 delivery again, and he got him. No argument there. Not happy about it, but he got him. Uh, Marcelo retires the side in order. And we continue to have a well played baseball game. Marcelo putting that one right there. 2 2. Pitching change made here, and the youngster is brought on, Jose Barrios. Oh, I've been looking forward to watching this teenager on the mound, mid to upper 90s, and he is soaking in the experience. He has tremendous power in that arm and also outstanding control. Only 19 years old, and he's making his first appearance in the classic. Brings heat that is there for a strike. Carlos Santana. Just watch how fluid his motion is and how the ball explodes out of his hand. That's going to get a left field. That's going to fall in for a base hit. Luciano will get it back in. Carlos Santana for the Dominican gets a leadoff single. And Carlos Santana quite happy that he saw the breaking ball. Good job of hitting here. Ricardo Danita. He has grounded out twice. De La Torre out of the ball game. Worked uh, an inning and a third. A run on two hits, two strikeouts. Charging in at first and third. Down to that time where you have to play this sixth inning. Like is the eighth or ninth inning. You have guys that can run, and you have guys that have good bat control here. Way in at third base. Good bunt. Oh. He really wanted to go to second that time, but Molina had trouble trying to get it out of the glove and took the safe play at first base and gets the out. Sacrifice, though, for Nanita. You're right on the money with this one. Look at Molina's reaction here. Is Nanita thinks this ball's going to be foul? Watch Molina. Just did not get the right grip. And as a veteran catcher, makes the right call, making sure he gets D sure out. Hello getting over to cover. Good sacrifice. Potential go ahead run. Second base, one down, six inning. Alejandro Diaz at the plate. He has walked and been hit by a pitch. Stranded twice. And the pitch will miss down low. Nineteen year old Minnesota Twins out of Puerto Rico. Jose Barrios pitch inside. Molina fakes the throw down. I applaud Terry Ryan, Ron Gardenhire. The Minnesota Twins and allowing this young pitcher to get and soak up this experience at such a young age. Holding the runner close at second, Figueroa the shortstop. Ball hit in the air to center field. The guy going back, way back, warning track wall. It'll take a bounce, base of the wall. Santana's going to make the turn. He'll come to the plate, throw, not in time, and all the way to the backstop, and it was not backed up. And the runner will go to third. Diazza gets the RBI, a double, and will move up on the error on the throw by Bagan. As that Parra was talking about in Diaz in that gap to gap does an outstanding job in getting this ball up on the jet stream. Pagan with a relay throw. 
And he plays a carom here off the high wall cushion wall here in Edom Beethorn. And then the relay from Palou goes way over. And Barrios was backing up third base, not home plate. Palou will get the error there on the throw. It makes it a 3 2. Three two ball game. He's watching uh, Avilas over at third base here. He wanted to get the ball thrown over there saying the runner did not touch third base coming around Santana but nobody was listening to him. He wanted to appeal that play. Too late though once a pitch is thrown. He was doing his job as a veteran third baseman following every single step of anybody coming by there. 3 2 lead for the Dominican infield drawn in. Reyes slashes, runner holds. Maldonado will go to the bag. Reyes is retired. This antenna, the secondary lead, he sees the ball get over Pagan. And that's what Avila saw. Go ahead, run scored by Santana. Now there are two down, nine hits for the Dominican in the ball game. Here is Ibar, two singles, a run scored, and he is struck out. And the pitch away. It's one thing about big league hitters, how quickly they'll let a young player pitcher know that. Got your great mid to upper 90s. It's about location. The higher you play, they wasted no time in letting him know that. Ground ball, second base. Well, he's got it. They get the out. But in this ball game, where the runs are coming one uh, at a time, and our precious three to two Dominican. Well, this one has been about the long ball. It's made the difference in the ball game. Puerto Rico getting Avilas, a two run homer. Coming right back, Cano leading off the fifth inning, a solo shot that tied the ball game up. And then the go ahead, the Az is doubled. Santana scoring 3 2, the Dominican leading. And the pitch is taken up high for a ball. So once again a new opportunity for Lorenzo Barcelo on the mound. He gave up the long home run to Mike Avilas. 1 0 delivery flow take it on the inside corner. Single and he is hit into a double play. Larry Garcia is come on to play in left field. And in out and in center Diaz is out of the ball game. I say Sierra. Bunting. Backspin foul ball. So both managers getting players into this game. Robinson Cano continues to swing a hot bat single solo home run. Mike Avila is also a hot bat for Puerto Rico. And the Dominican eight left on base already. But uh, credit Puerto Rico and how they have been able to minimize the damage especially Orlando Roman. Tony Pena's ball club, they have stranded eight, two for seven, with runners in scoring position tonight. That ball turned on and fouled. Well, with the one ball, two strike count. <laughs> the way this game's going, don't miss a pitch. You just don't know what you might miss. Marcelo settling in after he gave up that homer to Avila's. One two delivery will be bounced. He's retired the last five batters faced. Rios and Beltran do up in the inning. Palou waiting on it. Ground ball to first base. Base hit. Right through the hole. 
Cruz will get it back in. Lead off man on again. Two for three. Fallou in the game. Now it is the third time that uh, manager Edwin Rodriguez has seen his leadoff hitter get on. And they need to be a little bit more aggressive on the base path and the pressure should be here on Barcelo and on Carlos Santana. Rios with a single and a run scored and he is hit into a fielder's choice. Outfield very deep. Fastball strike in the outside corner. Five hits now for Puerto Rico. I always wonder, I've wondered here watching in the classic whether it's a sign of things to come literally you may notice there's some advertising now appearing on uniforms and helmets starts somewhere right yep quietly I'm not saying that's wrong I got I don't mind race car drivers coming out with cars and uniforms decorated vigorously with signage. We just never had it in baseball. We're seeing it here in the classic. Oh, one count. Blue drawing a lot of attention. Got one foot on the carpet. Good lead. Not going. Souvenir. And the two strike count. Pena hasn't done a lot of sitting there in this ball game. You strike the count. And Tony's been communicating with his catcher, Carlos Santana, but every time he does flash a sign from the dugout, he has been taking a step back behind his coaches. Still a two strike count runner not going again. Marcelo close but not quite outside one and two. Yeah, Barcelo provided a very important one two three in the first game for the Dominican and Tony said that was a tougher decision I had to make. Do I bring the guy that's fresh off winter ball or the guys with the most powerful arms and Barcelo retired pretty much the thick of the order against Venezuela. One two. Had some outstanding battles at the plate, pitcher hitter wise. Gans been involved in a few. Rios here, fighting off pitches. I bar the shortstop. The catcher Santana both coming to the mound. This copyrighted telecast presented by Authority of the World Baseball Classic Inc. may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without express written consent. You saw that meeting on the mound, and that was prompted by Eric Ibar, the shortstop, who does not miss a beat on anything. One ball, two strike count. Nobody out. Below at first base. Runner not going, and the pitch again just missed the outside corner. Dominican got the lead in the first inning. Puerto Rico took it back. On the Avila's home run in the fourth, two to one. Ball game uh, got tied up. 
Home run by Cano in the fifth inning, and then the run in the sixth, giving the Dominican the 3 2 lead. And inside to him that time and missed three and two. Runner on the move in a good gap to gap hitter here. Octavia Dotel has been up in the bullpen most of this inning. He's just staying loose, staying warm. Three, two. Runner goes. Popped him up. Second base. And puts it away. Rios retired. Cano there to get it. Runner back to first. So that battle won by the pitcher. And that will be it for Lorenzo Marcel. Pretty good battle right there. Octavia Dotel, the veteran in the bullpen. So one away here in the bottom half of the sixth inning. Runner remains at first base. Dominican leads by one. Great matchup. Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic both 2 0 and putting on a great show. Octavio Dotel on to pitch. Runner at first base, one down. Carlos Beltran at the plate. And inside to him for a ball. Dotel, a veteran with the Tigers, 3 5 7 in 57 games. Beltran 0 for 2 in the game. 2 and 0. Uh, you can tell just by the way Beltran's taking these pitches. This is the side of the plate where we have seen him most comfortable. He is 3 for 9 with an RBI so far in the classic. Dotel with a 2 0 and almost threw that one away. Good stop made. Santana. He has to be ready to bounce around. Carlos Santana has gotten better as the innings have passed here in this classic and tracking the ball. Not letting that one get by him. 3 0 delivery on the way. Had the green light and a 3 0 with one away. And not caught by Garcia. And the runner will get the second base. Just came on to play in left field. Looked like he had it lined up at plenty of time to get there and missed it. This is a tough feeling right here. No excuses whatsoever. He had enough time to even get under that pop up and have it more above his shoulders and extending those arms. We got handcuffed on that one. And Baloo kept watching and made it in. And Beltran is on, reaching on the air. Oh. 
And the pitch will be taken for a strike. Nobody in that field feels worse than the young player that just came into the game than Larry Garcia. Two on, one out. Velas has already delivered a single and a home run. Another RBI chance outside for a ball. I about hear the footsteps. And that glove was not turned the right way. At least to make the play right there where it was. One ball, one strike. No tell. Ground ball to short. May pick his teammates up right here. There's one relay to first. They turn the double play. I blacked it out. I can No runs, one hit, and error. Base runner left on. 3 2 Dominican. We keep finding more and more about what can Robinson Cano do in a baseball uniform. Take pictures for the kids. Check. Oh, take over in the outfield and uh, catch a pop up. How about going deep? Gary, he can do that too and play for the camera. Oh, yes, and for that flag, he can do that too. Big night, big classic for him. He's had a homer and a single, the RBI in this ball game. Eight hits now in 13 at bats, five RBIs for Cano. Seventh inning. The youngster, Jose Barrios, remains on the mound. 19 year old working here to Cano. 3 2 lead, the Dominican on top. And away 2 0. Winner of this game will play Italy. Loser of this game plays the U.S. in the opening matchups in Miami for round two. It's good to see Adam Jones of the Baltimore Orioles come through big today for Team USA, among other guys that did a fine job. But AJ with a big double. U.S. beat Canada 9-4. Two ball, one strike delivery. Mano a mano right there, two and two. That's some heat. Hot out of the hand, hot into the hand of Malia. Two two way up high, three ball, two strike count. You could almost see Cano nodding his head, saying, "No, nah, I'm not chasing up again." And the three two, and Cano will go down swinging. The youngster wins that one. He didn't want to chase, but he was forced to because of the explosive fastball. <laughs> Gotta love matchups like that. 19 years old against a proven superstar. I just heard Cano in Spanish say, if I sit on a chair and stand up, I would not be able to hit that one. <laughs> A rising fastball. <laughs> and Canacion up. RBI, two singles. Two for three in the ball game. I'm sure his He's dad. He's kind of smiling about the heater. Yeah, you know, kind of, I'm sure his dad has mentioned that. He won't even hit that if he get on a chair to try to hit that. It all comes back. And the 0-2 pitch. Ooh. The good thing is, the guy throwing 98 hits you with a breaking ball. Still gonna hurt. Uh, 
Runner on one down. This will be the first at bat for the veteran Miguel Tejada. Tejada coming on for Ramirez at third base. Tejada trying to mount a comeback after not playing last year. He has picked up a hit in four at bats here in the classic. Leno delivery to him. Big whip of the bat. Drives it in the air. Left center field. Going back near the wall. That'll take a hop and it'll go up and over. A double. It'll save a run for the moment. Tejada with a two bagger. Got the barrel out and a good fastball, but down in the zone. And Tejada thought he had more of it, maybe thinking the ball was going to carry out of the ballpark. Well, you talk about hitting with your hands, but how about your legs? We don't talk enough about reaching down and getting a good pitch with your legs. 38 year old Kansas City Royal invitee trying to find a spot back in the majors. That phase as if he just signed a professional contract today. So here's the big moment in the ball game. Seventh inning, only one away, two in scoring position. Nelson Cruz coming up, 10 hits on the board for the Dominican. Two for seven with runners in scoring position. They have left eight on. The infield is halfway, and the pitch will be inside for a ball. Nelson Cruz a single one for three tonight. He's had a four RBI classic already. One and one. Oh, hit him behind is Carlos Santana. But I would not hesitate to put on a contact play here. Make Puerto Rico catch and throw the ball. That'll be chopped foul. One ball, two strike count. Offense for the Dominican Republic. Even on a day when Reyes has been quiet, the rest of the guys have picked up the slack. Here's the one two delivery on the way, and that's outside. Two ball, two strike count on Cruz. Hit batter and Canacion started it with one away, then the double by Tejada. These have been situations where Puerto Rico's pitchers have made pitches. That's why all those base runners have been left on in this ball game. Chopper, runners coming. Play is going to be at first. The out will be recorded. An RBI for Cruz and a 4 2 Dominican lead. That's the beauty of the contact play in that situation. Of the infield playing a little closer than halfway. You got that bouncy turf, you're up by a run. Take a chance. And Canacion scores, makes it four to two. That'll be RBI number five in the classic. And so many people are afraid of the contact play because of the line drive. How often does that happen? Take your chances. The intentional pass will be surrendered to Carlos Santana. That'll put runners on at first and second. Tejada could not move up to third on the ground ball. Garcia is going to get his first at bat. Two 
two on and two out. Our coverage of the World Baseball Classic will continue bright and early Monday morning Tokyo Japan the Netherlands and Cuba will battle it out for the final spot to join Japan in San Francisco. Game time is 5 Eastern 9 GMT. And then coming up in Miami it will be Italy the number two seed out of Arizona facing the winner of this game and the U.S. will face the loser of this game. We will get a pitching change for two Dominican leading. So the Dominican has added a run here in the seventh inning. Now they will look to add more as the strategies play out here by both managers Xavier Cedeno on to pitch. Cedeno has a very good breaking ball which we saw him utilize in their first game here in this pool against Spain. He can use that breaking ball to both sides of the plate and establish it by keeping you pretty honest with this fastball. Tejada is the runner at second base. Santana at first. And here is Garcia. All right, Garcia came on to play left field. He's the one who had that error charged on the drop ball. Now gets a chance for an RBI. Bounces. Runner goes. Tejada. Throw to third. Both runners advance. That's pretty much created by great anticipation by the veteran Tejada. And Jose Molina not being able to move his body and get it down may leave it. Look at Tejada. Good secondary lead. No doubt. I'm going. Wild pitch. Weiss. These would be two big runs here in the seventh inning if they can get him in. 1 0 count. Laid on a heater. 1 and 1. Garcia 292 hitter double A Fresno with Texas very fast good fastball one and two Arios the youngster on the right Tejada dancing down to third, so Cedeno steps off. It's a very good time for that wraparound breaking ball. Here's the one two delivery. And he got him. So Cedeno comes on, gets the big strikeout, and again, we'll see if all these runners left on base, 10 of them pile up. And come back to haunt the Dominican. They lead it four to two. Ball game still very much up for grabs. Back here in San Juan. Take a look at the in-game box and the numbers for Puerto Rico. You can see a lot of zeros all because of no matter how things have gone, the Dominican has been able to keep Pagan at bay and then keep Beltran quiet too. And the bottom of the order, 0 for 8, 6 through 9. They'll tell on the mound, Maldonado at the plate. Our team, Maldonado, he has strikeout fly out. Jose Molina and Feliciano do up. to the count. Puerto Rico now try and take advantage of the Dominicans inability to get more runs leaving 10 on base so far. Octavio Dotel on the outside corner got him. One away. Hotel goes to his main pitch at fastball. 
right on the corner as it came back just the tad. And well received there by Carlos Santana. Gary, too close to take. Where's that emergency hack we've talked about? Aldonado didn't have one right there. Here's Jose Molina. Molina has struck out a grounded out, looking for his first hit of the classic as he had no at bats prior to this ball game. Veteran Dotel came on to record the outs in the sixth. Puerto Rico had a scoring chance outside one on one. Dotel becomes one of those key pieces for Tony Pena out of that bullpen. He still has a few options to choose from, and they all throw in the mid 90s. Little chopper by Dotel, second base. Cano's got it, flip, and we'll get the out. Molina retired, two down. We got Pedro Strope, obviously. You have Kelvin Herrera, and you have Fernando Rodney. Let's say Sierra has moved over to left field. He was playing center. And here at Par uh, Perez has come on to play in center. And it doesn't seem like Fernando Rodney is in any type of hurry. <laughs> Just enjoying the game. Outside for a ball. Aces Feliciano he has flied out twice two down bottom of the seventh. Dominican leading at four to two out hitting Puerto Rico ten five here in the final game to be played here in this pool round one. Both these teams on their way to Miami. And they've had a heck of a game and a great crowd on hand to cheer both sides on tonight. Three and all. All part of the great scenario presented here in Iran Beethorn Stadium. Built in 1962. Named after the first Puerto Rican big leaguer, Iran Beethorn. We'll get the strike in there, three and one. And attached to that history, too, is the first Dominican major leaguer, Ozzy Virgil. Senior. Call them on back. Three and two. So has been doing a good job keeping the ball down and really playing off anything off the plate. And maybe getting a little help sometimes. Three two delivery is going to be a base hit into right field off the fist. So Jesus Feliciano gets on, bringing the potential tying run to the plate. Well, he's a fighter, and he had to really fight that one off to get that base hit. They all count. O Castro pitching coach coming to the mound. Two down. Figueroa coming up. Take a look at the second round that's been played in the Far East where Japan twice having won the World Baseball Classic is going to be going uh, back to San Francisco to defend the title. They will come out of there with either the Cuban team or the Netherlands being the second team to go to San Francisco. Those two teams are going to play each other. 
biggest question is there enough pitching left for Bert Wylevin and the Netherlands against a very powerful Cuban ball club. Vega Roa. Down low to him for a ball. He is grounded out and popped out. So far a one for four but a couple of RBIs. In this tournament. 1 0 delivery on the way to him and that's going to be inside. They'll tell working behind the last two hitters finding the strike zone on the outside corner two and one he hasn't given the Feliciano to figure all anything to hit here the strikes have been right on the corners there's the two one delivery down to first base and Canacio will take it to the bag and that'll do it no runs one hit no errors one left on base and uh, the Dominican after seven on top here by a score of four two. A lot of players who have gone against one another at the major league level and playing a winter ball. Ramirez wanting to run a camera. Very popular they, Dominican singer Fernando Villalona right there in the middle. We go to the eighth inning. Moise Sierra hitting his first at bat, batting in the uh, nine spot. And Sierra will take the pitch for a strike. Xavier Cedeno came on in relief. Got the final out in the last inning and remains on here. Sierra getting his first at bat here in the classic will take the pitch. And even though Puerto Rico has allowed 10 hits, they have done a very fine job in just keeping the score within striking distance for their offense. And that's all we can ask for this time. Big cut. Bottom dropped out of that one, two and two. Sierra with the Jays. As they Reyes, Edwin Arcanacion, Ricardo Nanita, three other. Players out of the Blue Jays organization on the Dominican roster. Two two delivery is fouled off. Yeah. A piece of his foot. The main Dominican name of Toronto, of course, Jose Bautista, who is swinging a thunderous bat right now in spring training. Oh my goodness, he cannot protect everything, and that one's going to hurt for a while. Little chin burger there. Sedania so with a 2 2 delivery again, got him. Tag will be put on. Sierra's out of there, one down in the eighth. Oh, well, Sedania's so got this pitch down pat. Starts it right off the plate. And it comes right back. Yes, Moy says he didn't catch it, but that's a strike. Reyes at the top of the order, and 0 for 4 in this game. 4 for 13 in the classic. Pitch to him will be taken inside for a ball. Four ten and one for the Dominican, two six and two for Puerto Rico. 
Only four left on by Puerto Rico and ten by the Dominican. Pitch will be up high. Two and zero. Oh. Down to third, even with a bag. Nice stop made. Avilas, two down. His new ball club's gonna love Mike Avilas, man. This guy plays hard, guarding the line. Maybe didn't see that ball very well off the bat, but he stayed down low enough to have the free hands to snag it. Indians are getting a very good ball player, and Mike Avila certainly are. Here's Eric Ibar. Contributed early in the ball game. Single in the first scored. Picked up another base hit in the second inning. Two for four. I can see on to the early RBI. Cano picking up the RBI with a home run. Diaz got an RBI and a double that came in the sixth inning. Nelson Cruz RBI and a ground ball up four on the board for the Dominican. Avilas the two run homer for Puerto Rico to put them ahead for a moment but not for long. Nasty pitch one and two. Yeah, he's got a few of those. And also the way he hides his fastball. And of course, we've seen some dandy breaking balls from Sedano. Here's the one two delivery. That'll be bounced. Two ball, two strike count. Yeah, dear enjoying watching his brother Jose getting some work behind the plate. Letting him have it every time the ball bounces up and hits him. Two two. Come back up. Sedano makes the play over to first base and retires the side in order. We go to the bottom half of the eighth inning. It'll be the top of the order coming up for Puerto Rico running out of time here at their home field trailing 4-2. So in front of the boisterous crowd Puerto Rico in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Try and find a way to get some runs off Santiago Casillo. He can bring it one of the many great options Tony Pena has and for Casillo is going to be a matter of just controlling the emotions especially the tempo making sure things don't go too fast for him. Strike one is at a premium here for Santiago. The gun will lead it off. 0 for 2 and a walk in the ball game. And the pitch will be taken for a ball. New catcher coming on is Francisco Pena. Special moment for the Pena family. Tony's son. That's going to be fouled away. No play on it. One ball, one strike count. Carlos Santana will go to first base. Lots of changes in this lineup for the Dominican. One ball, two strike count. And Tony did not have the fact that it's uh, very emotional for him to have his son Francisco on this ball club, but he goes, hey, it's always easier to have him on my team than to have to manage against him. So they can't cheer for him then. <laughs> Have to look away. One two delivery. Come on, come on. 
Sagan drills that one. They were playing shallow. That's going to go in the gap. All the way to the wall. He's thinking about three. Here's the turn. And the relay throw to third. Not in time. saw on the previous at bat Pagan have been missing some pitches he finally is able to square something and he does it against his teammate for the Giants Casilla a leadoff trouble the Lou will take it inside for a ball On speed. That's how this man plays the game. You gotta love it. Seven hits now, Puerto Rico. One ball, one strike out. They trail by two. But they've got the middle of the order coming up here in the eighth inning. Just drop that one in. One and two. Big swing. Got a pretty good breaker here. Got to be able to use what the defense is giving you up the middle. Bounced it. Nice stop. And he keeps it out in front of him. Making Papa proud. Just what they were working on. Yesterday in the morning, with his father throwing balls into the dirt to the three catchers, firing balls at 10:20 <laughs> in the morning. Two ball, two strike count. And another stop. How did he get that one? Boy, Pena snagged that. Not an easy hop to catch on the backhand. Three two delivery, and he got him on that. Breaking ball. Big strikeout. Casilla one down. It's easy to see how keyed in Falou was on the fastball, and he missed two breaking balls, and this one was very hittable. They need this runner to score this inning. Rios a single one for three. Number three hitter looking for his first RBI of the classic. The gone at third. Tejada is trying to move. Somebody on the right side of the field. Trying to back up first baseman Carlos Santana. Strike taken. Rios, another scoop made by Pena, one on one. Off triple by Pagan. Oh, 
to see it. Tough pitch to hit. Rios behind on the count now, one and two. Thinking pull all the way. And that could be costly in this situation. Pena just came on to catch. He's getting a workout here in the eighth inning. Francisco's probably thinking, who's the guy throwing the ball? My dad? Again? <laughs> one right. inside. One to the stomach. One scooped. Two scooped. Blocked. Two balls, two strikes on Rios. It's a little more interesting. Three and two. Two deliveries foul back. So far, the best swing Reels has taken today. Good coverage and thinking on using the gap to gap approach in the middle of that diamond. They're giving you the run here. Grand ball to middle, you score a run. All right, down to the wire in this matchup of the final game here in San Juan. Got him. Garcia, two strikeouts in a row after the leadoff triple. He has thrown some dandy breaking balls. And this is absolutely a knee buckler against Rios. No complaints. Obviously, Gary, you have to have enough on your fastball to make that pitch more effective. Pena charging out after he saw his son go out to the mound to talk with Casilla. Tejada, the third baseman, moves in. The concern here is the guy coming up. A powerful hitter, very dangerous, and clutch hitter in Carlos Beltran. Beltran has an 0 for 3 in the ball game, 3 for 10 in the classic with only one RBI. Pagan with that triple still out there at third base with two down. Not for long. Way back, center field at the wall and cut. Yuri Perez hauls it in 400 feet away. And the Dominican avoids a bullet. And a 4 2 lead is maintained. What a run, what a catch, and perfect timing on this leap. You come into the game ready and anticipate. Yes, they will celebrate with you. So the Dominican Republic maintains the lead four to two as we go to the ninth inning. Gary Perez who made that catch at center field is a 22 year old who had not played in the classic prior to being inserted as a defensive replacement 
here late in this ball game. In fact he wasn't even on the initial roster he was added last week when Melky Cabrera chose to stay with the Yankees and not come. Nice managing. And he picked the right time to make the best catch the Dominican has made here this tournament. Ninth inning 4 2 Dominican leading here's Cano. Xavier Cedeno remains on the mound Cano with the homer in the fifth single in the first. Two for four in the ball game eight for 14 with five RBIs. Little MVP chant going up by the Dominican fans already. One ball one strike count. One one delivery and a chopper off the end of the bats this is going to be a tough play did not get him Avilas was playing over on the line so he couldn't cut it off at third and Figueroa had a long way to go to get it in a long throw and you don't have the grass to slow it down for you as a third base where you can keep coming across and once it gets by you it's a tough roll for your shortstop who's got to come and cover a lot of ground to the right and a slow roller. So Cano with a three hit ball game. <laughs> Lead off hit here in the ninth inning. That'll do it for Sedeno with Arncanacion coming up. They will go to the bullpen in a 4 2 lead for the Dominican. Eighth inning. What an inning for Santiago Casilla. Man at third base, nobody out. Hook strike out against the lefty. Hook strike out against the righty. And then look at this play. And the reaction says it all. What a great moment for a young Edwardy Perez. So the pitching change made here as Puerto Rico will try and keep this a two run ball game in the ninth inning. Randy Fontanez coming on. Right hander in for Sedeno. Sedeno an inning and a third with a hit, a couple of strikeouts. On at first base, Cano. And Francisco Pena will get his first at bat. Can't hold up on it. It's a strike. You know, Dad Tony is going to be a little more upbeat right now, a little more tense in that dugout. You no know, back to the bag. The young Pena played. Uh, High A and double A last year in the Mets organization, 81 games at 228. He has been uh, with the Mets in the organization for six seasons. 0 1 count. Get the impression that Tony will like to be on his ear between every single pitch. Fontanez, fifth pitcher used in the ball game by Puerto Rico. 1 1 delivery on the way, chop foul. We are in the ninth inning. Each team has had the lead at one point in the game. And now Pena's Dominican Republic's got the two run edge. And by the way, Francisco was not an early addition to this roster, he was at it later. When Miguel Oliva decided not to play, trying to earn a job in the big leagues. 
One two ground ball second base. Blue one relay for the Royal to get the double play. Two down in the ninth. Miguel Tejada in his first at bat delivered a double came into the ball game at third base. It'll be real interesting to see whether Tejada can earn a spot with Kansas City. Trying to make a comeback especially if he is absent for a prolonged period of time. Yep. 1 0 delivery on the way to him, and that's in there for a strike. He can bring a lot, especially now at the advanced age and experience, to a team that's on the verge of getting better and over the hump. Two ball, one strike count. Go towards the hole, and he's got another base hit. So Tejada with a two for two in the ball game keeps the inning alive for the Dominican Republic. A dozen hits in the ball game for the team. He's had outstanding plate coverage, not just here in this tournament, throughout the winter ball season. That's why Tony added him to the roster. Even if it was a little later. Two away Nelson Cruz. Cruz with a single and an RBI and a ground ball out. He's one for four in the ball game. Missed inside for a ball. Just imagine. Manny Ramirez and Miguel Tejada were on the same team this winter. Manny is not retired. No. 1 0 delivery gets away, and Tejada goes down to second. Had the glove turned the wrong way. Yeah, Jose Molina did not do the best of jobs in just tracking the ball and the movement right into that glove. And the second time we see Tejada anticipate the ball getting by the catcher, and both times he's advanced well. Also did it from second to third. Ninth inning, two run lead. Potential big run now in scoring position with two down. Cruz with a five RBI classic so far. 2 0 delivery to him. Strike in the outside corner. Randy Fontanez, the sign, and the 2 1. Center field. John backing up on it, and he's got it. No runs, couple of hits, no errors, two are left on base. Last chance, Puerto Rico, bottom of the ninth inning. Avilas, Maldonado, Molina do up. They trail 4-2. So here we go, bottom half of the ninth inning. Puerto Rico in the first round of games in WBC play over the three World Baseball Classics has never lost a game here in Puerto Rico in the first round. The Dominican trying to stick him with one right here, though. As we go to the bottom of the ninth inning, Fernando Rodney on to try and save it. Avilas, Maldonado, and Molina. 
Avilas will take it inside for a ball, a home run, a single. Two for three in the ball game. Avilas got a two RBI shot, fourth inning on the homer that gave his team the one run lead for the moment. Cano came right back in the next half inning with a homer of his own, though. Foul back. Rodney has already picked up a save. Watch out. Another star down. One ball, one strike count. That'll be fouled away, one and two. Four, 12 and one, Dominican, two, seven and two, Puerto Rico. Both teams go to Miami. Winner plays Italy, loser plays the U.S. in the first games. It'll be a doubleheader on Tuesday. A pie by Rodney, two and two. Rodney attributes this. Turn and turn the corner as a pitcher to the slide step. That's it. So that was it. That did it for me. Simplify our mechanics. Devastating changeup. Pretty firm fastball and a good slider. Avilas, 3 2 delivery, ground ball to short. Ivar's got it. One down. Eddie Rosario coming off the bench to pinch hit for Maldonado, who had an 0 for 3. Rosario 0 for 4 in the classic. And Rodney will get the strike. Outside again. One ball, one strike count. Ooh. Way out in front of that pitch, one and two. Is letting it fly here. It's almost unfair. <laughs> 15 mile an hour difference. Change up in that fastball. Pedro Valdez coming up. Pinch hitting for Molina. Two down, ninth inning. Dominican one out away from going 3 and 0. Oh. And being the first seed coming out of San Juan to go to Miami. Inside corner strike. They've already announced the uh, MVP 
the Department of Tourism here in Puerto Rico and Robinson Cano nine for 15 three doubles a home run and five RBI's Puerto Rico tourism MVP here in the first round he had hoped to have a big series in this classic and he has what a showcase for that megastar Dominican team coming in heavily favored but they'd heard that before in previous classics and hadn't gotten it done. 2 1 delivery sorry on a miss. 2 and 2. Well, this could be Valdez's last at bat as an active player here in Puerto Rico. He will call it quits. Two two delivery. Speed ball up high three and two trying to keep it alive here in the bottom half of the ninth inning. with a 3 2 delivery in the air a blooper to second base and of course Cano is going to make the blow and that's it the Dominican Republic has defeated Puerto Rico by a score of 4 to 2 to go 3 and 0 oh here in the first round they will move on to Miami to play Italy while Puerto Rico will be playing the United States in the two games to be played in Miami on Tuesday. Gary Thorne and Jose Moda here have enjoyed bringing this one to you, I'll tell you, because a good finish to it. 4 2 the Dominican. Well, this is really what the Dominican Republic wanted. Because the issue coming in was were they ready to play? After the downfall in the 09 baseball classic, they've answered that for now. And they also answered to their manager getting them all up in the clubhouse before they got to Puerto Rico and asking them one by one, why are you here? And Gary, I think they have responded as they did with their words in that meeting, and they have responded by the display they showed here the passion, the urgency, and certainly how they let. Their skills talk, putting the pies behind them, and moving on, putting on a great show for the great holes that Puerto Rico was. Rodney getting his second save. Cano back. And the star for the Dominican appropriately catches the final out. Of course, why not Robinson Cano? Pena embraced by the Dominican flag and he embraces everything that baseball represents in that great country. You know going out to get his award. So the World Baseball Classic this round completed. Here in San Juan, the Dominican 3 and 0, Puerto Rico 2 and 1. They both go to Miami. Venezuela with a 1 and 2 in Spain, 0 and 3. Top two have advanced. They'll travel tomorrow and play on Tuesday. We could not have asked for a better finish and once again for a better display of baseball ability. And an example of so many players sharing with these great fans here in San Juan.
All right, let's take a look at the second round now coming up. Italy and the Dominican Republic will open it up one o'clock on Tuesday and game two will be eight with Puerto Rico taking on the United States. Cuba and the Netherlands will play tomorrow at 6 a.m. to decide the second team to go to San Francisco as Japan has already won the right to go there and defend their title. Barcelo gets the win in the ball game. Barrios takes the loss. Rodney the save. Sellout crowd. And boy, did they put on a show here in this game. That's going to do it for Jose Mota and all of our crew. I'm Gary Thorne. Thanks, everybody. Always a great venue. And the fans did not let anybody down. Final score here the Dominican four and Puerto Rico two. I do.